Hey, what's up? I'm a diagnosed narcissist and I'm here to talk again about my experiences. With all that being said, I am not a licensed professional, so keep that in mind as I proceed along with my thoughts. But um, anyway, last night I had a conversation that I thought was particularly interesting with some friends. And we were discussing how like I, as a narcissist, operate under, I guess, not really having an identity, quote unquote, or at least like a weak identity. I don't even know how to say it. But um, there was something that I thought was super interesting because my friend told me that the reason why narcissists are often not good at self-reflecting is because we see everything in first person. And this was kind of weird to me because it's easy for me to think that everybody typically sees things in first person. And I don't generally think I'm wrong when I say, for example, that like, oh, we can't look outside our own perspective we filter everything through our own bias blah 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 whatever all that kind of stuff i mean philosophically i have this nihilistic view where okay we're all just making things up we're all just you know i guess trying to i guess cope with our like artificial constructs quote unquote i think everyone's just in denial about that i can be honest about that but i think the barrier that separates i guess someone like me who is a narcissist and I think I can just be honest that okay everybody's lying about their lives having meaning or their lives having like a sense of purpose even though we're all just this I don't know materialistic blob that's just like atoms smashing into each other doing like random stuff and it doesn't even mean anything and they're all just artificial constructs that like you know we develop in our mind quote unquote but I've spoken a lot of times about how I don't really know how to compare and contrast my past. I mean, I don't want to say I don't know how to do that, but I guess like I sort of struggle because I guess not having the strongest sense of self or the strongest sense of like identity. Yeah, I've mentioned a few times, I think here and there that um, it's hard for me to balance, I guess, how I might have reacted in a particular moment versus in retrospect how I feel about it now, because I keep talking about how I die, I die all the time because I don't really have, you know, me that's happening and like me that's um going on there. And the way that my friend told me, I think was particularly very interesting. And I don't know if you don't have MPD, let's say if you do feel like you do have a strong sense of self, I guess, tell me how you would expand upon that, I guess, because he told me that I don't really see things in third person. And what I mean by that is Basically, I have a hard time looking at myself from a distance because I feel like every single time I try to do that, every single time I try to place a separation between who I was as a person versus who I want to be, who I was as a person was never even real because at least what I do know about that moment is that it was an artificially created construct of who I want to be or who I think I should be or who I believe I'm supposed to be. And the only thing that I realize now when I look at it from retrospect is that I'm basically just repeating the same cycle. Like, when I try to piece who I am, all these versions of myself in, like, different moments in the past just feel like characters that I made up. Like, um, a persona that I think I was supposed to show or display towards the world or something. And... I can't really reflect in a way that feels like I'm trying to improve something because it doesn't feel like the person that I ever was even existed to begin with. So in comparison to like this first person, like third person sort of thing, I am constantly trapped in the first person because I think trying to develop myself is basically trying to find a better persona, I guess, rather than like working towards something. and. Even now that I'm, I don't want to say now I'm aware of this, because I guess like I always knew I'm just trying to put it like into like, you know, words, basically. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go from there, I guess. I mean, people say that we learn who we are and find out more about ourselves based on our experiences and the lessons we learn or whatever. But if I had to describe what it's like being me, or what life has always felt like to me, it kind of feels like life is just a big acting class, basically. And everybody's doing improv. And, you know, when you do improv, you're supposed to just do it on the spot. 
but yet when you do things on the spot because life isn't always predictable there are like twists and turns here and there obviously like nobody can predict the future or whatever it's confusing to me to think that okay we're supposed to figure this out as we go but yet as we go we already have a self quote-unquote that's like i don't know firm or just getting like stronger quote-unquote i guess that's how you're supposed to understand it like okay your sense of identity is just going stronger over time through these experiences i don't even think i'm in touch with it at all so it just feels like yeah it just feels like improv basically